Hello everyone. Today our topic is transposition. As you know that the transposition is the expression of the toric prescription into opposite cylindrical form. There are two types of the transposition. The first one is simple or formal transposition and the second one is the toric transposition. But in this video we will discuss about the simple or formal transposition. And we will also learn about that why the simple transposition or the formal transposition is necessary for the optometrists and for the opticians. Now, before discussing about the transposition, we have to learn about the toric prescription. As you can see, the toric prescription is the prescription which has the spherical correction and cylindrical correction simultaneously. Now we have a toric prescription. We have sphere, we have cylinder, and we have axis of the cylinder. This is toric prescription. Now we will discuss about the different simplest step of the transposition. The first step is add cylinder into sphere algebraically. As you can see, we have sphere and cylinder and we have to add both of them but algebraically as you can see we have minus sphere and we have minus cylinder we have both values in minus sign so we have to add both of them right so when we will add both of them the resultant value would be minus 3 and the minus 3 is our new spherical correction right now and the sign with the new sphere would be minus because we have both sign in minus so the next step is change the sign of the cylinder we just simply change the sign of the cylinder we have cylinder minus one and the sign with the minus uh, with the cylinder is minus so we have to change the sign of the cylinder now as you can see here this is our new sphere which is minus three as we have discussed here and now with the second step we will change the sign of the cylinder before we have minus sign with the cylinder and now our new cylinder is with plus sign and now the third step is rotate the axis 90 apart as you can see here we have axis of the cylinder which is 90 and we have to rotate 90 apart so we will add 90 into the axis so 90 and 90 would be 180 so 180 would be our new axis. Now we will discuss about different examples of the simple or formal transposition. As you can see, we have a toric prescription which has plus spherical correction and plus cylindrical correction and axis of the cylinder is 60 degree. Now we will transpose this prescription and you know that the first step of the transposition is add cylinder into sphere algebraically. So we have both values, both signs into plus. So we will add this cylinder into this sphere. So the resultant value would be plus 3. Right? So we have completed our first step. Now the second step of the transposition was as you remember that change the sign of the cylindrical correction. So we have plus sign with the cylinder and our new cylinder would be in minus because we have to change the sign of the cylinder. The value would be the same so we have completed our second step now the third step was change rotate the axis 90 apart as you can see we have 60 axis of the cylinder and these 60 axis are less than 90 degree so as you remember if the axis of the cylinder is 90 or less than 90 then we have to add 90 into previous axis so our previous axis is 60 so we will add 90 into the previous axis. So our new axis would be 150. So this is called a new toric prescription after transposition. Now we have second example. We have toric prescription which has plus spherical and minus cylindrical correction and axis of the cylinder is 95 degree. Now we will transpose it. So the first step of the simple transposition was add cylindrical correction into spherical correction. This is first step of the transposition. So the resultant value would be plus 2.5 because we have two values. The first one in, is in plus and the second was, was in minus. So plus and minus is equal to minus. So we will deduct both these values. We will deduct 0.5 from the 3 and the resultant value would be 2.5. And the sign would be in plus because we have the bigger value with the plus sign. 
so this is our new spherical correction and the second step of the formal transposition or the simple transposition was simply change the sign of the cylinder so the sign of the previous prescription of the cylinder is minus so we will simply change into plus the value would be the same now the axis as we have discussed if the axis is more than 90 then we will deduct 90 from the previous axis so we have previous axis 95 degree now we will deduct 90 from the previous axis so our new axis would be as you can see 5 degree so this is transposed toric prescription now we have third example and we have a toric prescription which has minus a pair and minus cylinder as well and the axis of the cylinder is 180 degree so as a first step is add cylinder into sphere so we will add both of these values algebraically and as you know that algebraically minus and minus is equal to plus so we have to add these both values right so our, our resultant new spherical correction would be 5.75 and the sign with the new sphere would be minus because the bigger value is with the minus sign right minus 5 is a greater amount a greater value as compared to the 0.75 so our first step of the simple transposition position is accomplished and the next step is change the sign of the cylinder so we have minus cylinder and we will simply change into plus cylinder the value of the cylinder would, would be the same we just change the sign of the cylinder and as you can see we have axis which are more than 90 degree so we will deduct 90 from the previous axis so previous axis is 180 degree and axis of the previous cylinder is 180 degree which is more than 90 so we will deduct 90 from the axis and our new axis would be 90 degree so this is again a transposed toric prescription